Deltiazem, non-dihydrobiridine calcium channel blocker, class 4 antiarrhythmic agent, antihypertensive agent, antianginal agent. It should be avoided in patients taking beta blocker or who have heart failure with reduced ejection fraction or sinus node dysfunction or second or third degree atrioventricular block unless a functioning pacemaker has been placed. We should also notice that patients stabilized on a maintenance regimen between 120 and 360 milligrams of immediate release tablets may be switched to an extended release formulation at the same daily dose. Administered in one or two divided doses depending on formulation. In some patients, the dosage of extended release formulation may require adjustment following conversion. The oral form is used for the treatment of hypertension, chronic stable angina or angina, and vasospastic angina or angina. The injection form is used for the treatment of atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter for acute ventricular rate control and for the conversion of supraventricular tachycardia. Off-label use for atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter and for the chest pain associated with cocaine ingestion with or without evidence of acute coronary syndrome and for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and for idiopathic ventricular tachycardia and for non-sustained ventricular tachycardia or ventricular premature beats. Supraventricular tachycardia such as atrioventricular nodal reentrant tachycardia, atrioventricular reentrant tachycardia, and focal atrial tachycardia or multifocal atrial tachycardia. When it comes to the administration, we should notice that for the immediate release tablet, administer before meals and at bedtime, and the tablets may be swallowed and the the tablets may be swallowed whole, crushed, or chewed. And as a matter of fact, don't split non-score tablets. And when it comes to the long-acting dosage forms, don't open or chew or crush as it should swallow whole. And administer at same time of day, either morning or evening. For some preparations of capsules, it may be opened and sprinkled on a spoonful of apple sauce. Apple sauce shouldn't be hot. Adverse reactions, peripheral edema, 5% to 15% dose related. We we should also notice that the grapefruit juice may increase the serum concentration of deltaism. The radiarrhythmias, deltaism may cause first degree atrioventricular block or second degree atrioventricular block or complete atrioventricular block or sinus bradycardia and it may cause cutaneous hypersensitivity reactions and maculobabular rash is the most common cutaneous adverse reaction reported. Mechanism of action inhibits the calcium ion from entering the slow channels or select voltage sensitive areas of vascular smooth muscle and myocardium during depolarization. Produces relaxation of coronary vascular smooth muscle and coronary vasodilatation. Increases myocardial oxygen delivery in patients with vasospastic angina. Onset of action for the oral forms immediate release tablet 30 to 60 minutes, intravenous bolus, 3 minutes, duration of action for intravenous bolus, 1 to 3 hours for continuous infusion after discontinuation, 0.5 to 10 hours. Absorption for the immediate release tablet is about 98% and for extended release capsule, 93 to 95%. Volume of distribution, 3 to 13 liter per kilogram, 70 to 80 percentage protein binding. Metabolism is mainly hepatic, ex extensive first path effect 40% oral bioavailability as it undergoes extensive first path metabolism half-life elimination for immediate release tablet 3 to 4.5 hours for extended release tablet 6 to 9 hours for extended release capsules 4 to 9.5 hours for intravenous single dose 3.4 hours for the continuous infusion 4 to 5 hours time to peak for the immediate release tablet 2 to 4 hours for extended release tablet 11 to 18 hours for extended release capsule 10 to 14 hours excretion urine and feces fd approval date is november 5th 1982